Hello, 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 and welcome once again to the Tech Explorers channel. Lately, I've been rolling out a couple of um, video tutorials on um, payment gateways, all right, because um, I got a lot of requests for some persons asking me to shoot some um, videos that solve the problem of freelancers and small business person receiving um, money from foreign or international clients, all right? Especially um, from those of us from Africa, especially Nigeria, all right? So um, I wrote out a couple of videos. If you are yet to watch them, you could check the description of this video. I would link up some of those videos, how to create your transfer wise, how to create your Payoneer account, how to create a PayPal account. And in today's episode, we want to talk about how to create a gray account. Now, the good thing about all these uh, accounts that I have mentioned is the fact that you do not necessarily need to be in these foreign countries where these platforms operate. For instance, PayPal operates uh, in the United States, all right? Um, I think Payoneer as well. But you necessarily don't need to be there, okay? You just need to have an account with them. And then from their platform, you can begin to create a um, series of accounts that would enable you to receive funds, all right? Say, for instance, you do not have access or you're having a difficult time to, um, getting a domiciliary account in your country, for, for instance. Um, this is an easy way for you. You need a DOM account, USD account, uh, an Euro account, a Great Britain pounds account. You need all those things and you don't want, you, you don't want to go through all the banking stress. These videos will show you exactly how to go through them with very minimal stress, all right? So in this very episode, we will be covering how to create a Gray account, all right? So Gray is a third-party application that enables you to receive payment from anywhere in the world, all right? But particularly, um, you can actually receive payments in US dollars, Great Britain pounds, and uh, the hero. Um, that said, let's jump right into what we need to do to get an account up and running for us. So right in this very section, at uh, the description below, I will be dropping the link that would connect you to this very platform. So you don't necessarily need to worry about that. That will be taken care of after this video. Just click on the link to sign up and you will be brought to this present page where you can see on my screen. Let me take this out quickly. Now that's uh, what you want to do once you are here on the page. You want to make sure that you are set to for individuals, all right? If you're a freelancer or you're a small business person whose business is not necessarily re I mean, registered, okay? You're not registered in your country of residence or whatever reason, or you feel it, it doesn't need any sort of registration, for, for instance, you can just settle for the individual account, all right? But if you are a registered business and you want other people to help manage your account, then you could go for the business account. However, you will need to provide some selling documents, all right, to be able to use that or have a control of that business account. So that's it. I want to head over to the individual gray account and come right to get started for free. Make sure that it is set in your country, all right, whatever you're doing on platforms like this, you want to make sure that you're giving out the necessary formal information as it is contained in your government approved data or ID card. All right, so we'll click on get started. And then that takes us to the beginning of our process. So here we are at the very first stage of the process to create our account. You want to fill out all this information, your first name, your middle name, your last name, as they appear on your ID card, either an international ID card or whatever other government approved ID card that you have, because you're going to submit some form of documentation that shows this name on those documents, all right? So you want to make sure that the name tallies so that when you're submitting your document, it matches whatever it is that you have provided while you are signing up or creating your account, all right? So you want to put a working phone number. You want to make sure that your country is selected. Again, you will be receiving a code to verify this process. 
you want to check out an email address that you want to use for this purpose you want to also choose a password and uh, if there is a referral code as you can see this is very optional but of course i'll also be dropping my referral code under the description of this uh, very video so if you wish you could support me support the channel by using the referral code and i will be getting some incentive you as well will be getting some incentive for using the referral code all right so before you sign up you want to click on the link below to get the referral code and once you're done with all this you just smash on the agree button and then click on create your account and that will take you to the next page so in a minute i'll quickly run through all this fill it all out and then smash on the create account button and i'll join us right back all right so i have filled out the necessary information all right and um, the referral code as you can see here is capital g500 and pv g500 and pv you want to support the channel you can use those code as your referral code and um, smash on the create account button once you have ticked this, all right? Once you smash on the create account button, that will take you over to the next information, which is that you have received an OTP in your email address, okay? So you want to head over to your email address and verify with the code that was sent to you. So head over to your email, copy out the code there, come into this very section and paste the code and click on verify and we will be done. So join me as I head over to the email section. Okay, so right here we are in the email section. We can see that there are two information, there are two mails that we are sent from Gray. The first is the welcome email and the second is to confirm your identity. So you want to click on that to confirm your identity and then you copy out this code that was sent, all right? Copy it out and head back to the Gray account to paste that code right there so here we are in the gray account we want to just simply paste the code that you got in your email and then smash on the verify your account all right so we had smashed on the verify button and it's saying the invalid email verification token all right so what we want to do in this section right now is to resend the code for any reason you get an invalid email you want to click on resend the code then head back to your email get the code come back here and paste it so i'll do that very quickly all right so very quickly i encountered a little glitch all right a little glitch in the um, account creation process and i'll quickly explain that to help us as well in case you encounter something similar so while i was trying to enter the um while i was trying to enter the code that was sent to the email all right i couldn't get in for some reason so what i did was i went back two pages backwards to the page where I had to just click on login instead of sign up because as soon as you impute your information from the beginning, you input all the details, including the referral code, you tick on the agree button and click on create an account. An account is automatically created for you from that instant on. So all you needed to do was to verify your account. So because I couldn't get a code, I had to go back and log in because I already have created an account. So I don't just start afresh creating another account. So once you go over to login again, once you click on login, after you put in your username and password, which you chose, your username is usually your email address, which you use in creating the account, and then the password you put into the creation process. Once you put in those two information, it will then send you another login details or login code, all right, which you can then put into the section for code login. And then once you put that in, it will take you right into your account. So right here, we have our account all set up, but it is not completely to be used. Why? Because we have only done phase one out of three. The next phase is to identify, all right, to verify our identity and then submit a document to verify what we have used in creating our account. So we want to quickly go over to the next phase, which is identity verification. I'll click on identity verification very quickly. And here you see what is required of you. You need to choose your date of birth. You need to select your gender, occupation, your country. Make sure you put in the original information about you, all right, that matches your government approved document, please. Do not forge anything because money is involved here. You forge anything and you receive any money and they are asking you to verify that it is you and you're not able to verify. It means you will likely lose that money because you cannot prove that you are the owner of the account. 
All right, so make sure you put in information that are legit. So that said, you want to scroll all the way down. You put in your city, your zip code, your home address. This is very crucial because you will be also asked to submit a utility bill. All right, a utility bill will be submitted that bears your home address. Okay, and then you also um, choose what you want to use a gray for. Preferably, you could say you want to use it to receive payment for freelancing from your international client. That is usually the general um, commonly accepted reason for opening a career account. But if your reason is a little different, you can just check out the different reasons and then choose the one that suits your need, right? So you want to take your time to um, run through all this because after the identity verification, you have to verify with the document and then you do your know your customer um, process, which is the KYC in review. All right, so all of these are typically the KYC, all right? So just supply every information that is needed and then click on continue. So I'll be taking in my time to put in all this information and I'll click on continue. I'll be right back. All right, so I have filled out all the necessary information and I have uploaded a utility bill, specifically a power utility bill. I've uploaded that and then I will smash on the continue button. If you do not know your zip code, you want to just simply search through Google, type in the name of your area, all right? And just type zip code after that. So once that is done, you want to click on continue and that will take you to the next phase, which is your document verification. So here you want to submit a legal ID. As you can see, you can either submit an international passport, a national ID card, or your driver's license. For those of you in Nigeria, the good news is you can use your NIN slip to go through this phase, all right? So you want to scroll all the way down to do that. and you smash on the continue button to complete this process. So as you can see, this is gonna be a live process, okay? You would upload photos of your document, you use your mobile phone to take a live picture of your passport or your national ID card or whatever it is. And then you also take a selfie video of yourself, all right? So if you want to start, you click on start and get yourself ready. So here you'll be asked whether you want to allow access, all right? You want to allow access to your camera or whatever it is that you want to use for this process. Okay. You want to click on allow camera or whatever it is. Okay, allow access. You want to allow the camera of your device, all right? So um, for this process, I'll rather be using my phone because this is an account that I'm creating for someone. So I would have them go through this process and then I'll return to continue the phase, all right. But for the record, for the record quickly, these are some of the things that you be asked. Uh, what country, you wanna choose your country. In my case, I'll be choosing Nigeria, okay. Here are the list of cards that you can use. For Nigeria, these are the available cards that you can use. You can even use your PVC, your voter's card, your NIN slip, your digital NIN slip, passport or driver's license. In my case, I'll be using a driver's license. I mean, I'll be using a passport. That is international passport, please, not your photograph. International passport for traveling. All right, and then I click on choose a document. So here you are either going to upload a passport right with whatever device you're using. In my case, I'm using a PC, or you can ask to verify on your phone. To verify on your phone, once you click on verify on your phone, a link will be sent either to your email or you want to scan the QR code with your phone on your laptop, okay? So in this case, I'll be using the second option, which is email, so that the email will be sent to the client who, uh, who, who owns this very account I'm creating. So she goes through the process from her end. So I'll click on email, and then an email will be sent to her if I impute the email that I want to use in this very section. So quickly, I'll put in the email right here and click on send email, and that will be sent. Allow me to do that for the next 30 seconds. All right, so I have sent out the mail, and the verification process is ongoing as I am recording this very session. So once the client is done with her verification, that is, uploading a live capture of her, of her ID card, that is the passport, and then taking a selfie of her face, then she will be asked to return to the computer, which is the third step here. 
and then we'll continue from there. So give her some time so that she can finish up the verification and then we would continue after then. All right, so here we are. As you can see, as soon as you finish on your phone, you'll get a notification that you should continue on your PC, okay, on whatever browser it is that you are using. Once you get that notification to continue on PC, it would automatically, you know, populate by itself and then give you this message that you can see on my screen telling you that you are all what set up, that your registration is now complete and your verification is being reviewed. And once you are verified, you can request and get your foreign account in Great Britain, pounds, euro and USD. So what you want to do next is to head over to your dashboard while you allow them to go ahead with the verification. Mind you, the document you submitted can either be declined or accepted. If it is declined, it means you have to re-upload another document, all right? If it's accepted, then you're good to go. So click on go to dash your dashboard, and that brings you back to your dashboard, all right? So this is the entire creation process for a great account. In the next video, I'll be showing you little things that you need to know about the platform, taking you through the platform and what you can do with the platform. I'll see you in another video and thank you for joining. If you found this helpful, click on the thumbs up button to like this video, subscribe if you have not. And for those of you who do not know, I roll out videos like this, very helpful videos for business, small business owners and their freelancers that could be of very good use to you. So for you to get a notification whenever I roll out a video like that, you want to toggle on that bell button just by the subscribe button so that you can always get a notification when I roll out new videos. Okay, that said, head over to the link in the description below and see how exactly you can begin your own sign-up process. And I'll see you in the next video where I'll be showing you everything that you need to know about the platform, the entire walkthrough of the platform. Thank you for joining. I'll see you in the next video.